Welcome to Automotive Territory! For millennia, humanity has dreamed about the skies, but only for the past few centuries have we been able to explore the flight. Yes, we do have planes casually crossing the oceans, we have reached the vast infinity of space, but we are still not at the point where science fiction has been taking us. Our roads are getting extremely overcrowded, so maybe the time has come for the cars to fly, and hoverboards, passenger drones, Iron Man suits and spaceships to replace outdated ground transport. Engineers strongly agree with this idea and work hard on bringing the skies closer to us. So today we'll be showing you the latest inventions in the world of personal and public air transportation that will be reshaping the way we travel in the nearest future. Before we get to the episode, just a reminder the subscription to our channel guarantees interesting videos at least twice a week. Enjoy the flight! Daedalus If you thought that flying exoskeletons is the stuff from comic books, available only to superheroes, you're terribly wrong. The UK entrepreneur Richard Browning has proven that if you want to become an Iron Man, you don't have to wait for Tony Stark to invent the technology. You get to work and build your own suit. The prototype of this first human propulsion flight system is called Daedalus, and it is powered by six jet engines, with two mounted on each arm and another two on the waist. The backpack serves as a fuel container. At the moment, the pilot of the prototype is Richard himself, and according to his comments, operation still requires advanced physical fitness, so he goes through vigorous workouts all the time. The suit is not available for sale just yet, but Browning estimates that the sale price should be around $250,000. Scorpion 3 Despite resembling a regular motorcycle, this extreme sports vehicle developed by a Russian startup called Hover Surf is in fact the first fully manned commercial hover bike. Designed to make flying available and easy for both professionals and amateurs, Scorpion 3 is a one-seat all-electric machine that combines motorcycle, drone and quadcopter technologies. It speeds up to 43 miles per hour and hovers at a 33 feet altitude. Its maximum range and flight time depend heavily on the load weight and reach 13 miles and 20 minutes respectively. The hover bike is aimed to be extensively used by the police, first responders and sports enthusiasts. It is already fully functional and available for pre-order, with a price set at moderate compared to other flying vehicles. $59,900. It sure is a fun and exciting flying bike, but its four electric rotors located at the corners are still likely to kill or severely injure the rider if anything goes wrong. Aeromobile 4.0 The idea that someday cars will fly dates all the way back to 1940s, when Henry Ford expressed his confidence that this was the inevitable path that automotive development will take. Here we are in 2018, and it seems that the newly revealed fourth-generation Aeromobile from the small Slovakian company has just the right recipe to fulfill the predictions. In its ground form, the vehicle is not bigger than a mid-sized pickup truck, but with unfolded wings, the width increases to 28 feet. The powertrain of this hybrid aircraft will comprise of a 2.0-liter turbocharged I-4 Boxer with 300 horses output to propel it in flight, and on the ground, a dedicated front-wheel drive electric motor will be used. The zero-emission driving range reaches 40 miles on a charge, while in flight, Aeromobile 4.0 can cover 465 miles. On the inside, it is equipped with the most advanced avionics, so all in all a pretty solid aircraft that however won't be available to the white public, costing $1.6 million. Flyboard Air We have long dreamed about everyday flying on a hoverboard, and now personal aviation is no longer a myth. Created by a French engineer and jet ski champion Frank Zapata, the Flyboard Air uses trademark flying and VTOL technology that allows for a variety of manned and unmanned applications. Today it can reach 87 miles per hour top speed and remain in the air for 6 to 10 minutes. Being one of the most exciting options for the individual air travel, it is also one of the safest. It has intuitively designed flight controls that use humans' natural ability to balance and two motors that work independently to ensure that the flyboard will continue to work even if one of the engines malfunctions. On the downside, it does not have a built-in fuel tank and relies on the one carrot in the rider's backpack. Currently, it can be flown by Zapata only, but it already has an easier-to-operate version called the Easy Fly. Volocopter 
Unlike many startups that come and go in a flash, the German company Velocopter is probably here to stay, which is supported by the recent investment deal they signed with Mercedes' parent company Daimler. The development of this VTOL had been started back in 2011 that resulted in the creation of the first certified for men flights air taxi VC200. It was powered by independent electric motors, 9 batteries and 18 rotors and short flying capabilities. In 2017, the company came up with a second-generation vehicle called X2 that has also been approved as an ultralight aircraft in Germany. It can travel at the max speed of 62 miles per hour, but the usual cruising speed is just 43 mph, with 17 minutes of flying. Velocopter starts testing this year in Dubai, and even though equipped with autonomy features, for now will be operated by a pilot. Jetman Jetman Dubai is the company that comes out of vision of the Swiss extreme sports enthusiast and inventor Yves Rossi and his companion Vince Ruffat. The enterprise was started back in 2007, when Rossi began performing stunts crossing English Channel, Grand Canyon and recently the fly around the Burj Khalifa skyscraper. The Jetman system weighs 330 pounds and has two Jetcat P400 engines, typically used on model planes, that are mounted on a mono wing. The jetpack makes 88 pounds of thrust and can reach in-flight speeds of up to 190 miles per hour according to the conditions. It is not clear whether it will be widely sold to the public, but we can easily see extreme sports and military application of the technology. Vahana from Airbus Responding to the growing demand for faster traffic jamless and convenient transportation, French aeronautical manufacturing giant Airbus began the project Vahana back in 2016. By February this year, they presented a functioning prototype of a self-piloted drone-like aircraft that completed its first successful flight. It managed to ascend to 16 feet above the ground and stay in the air for full 53 seconds. During this short flight, the HANA aircraft spent about 8% of the battery charge. This all-electric passenger vehicle works as a converted plane. It has a six-rotor design that allows it to take off and land vertically and adjust to make the main flight mode directional. Airbus claims that Vahana will have a 62-mile range and will become the first flying taxi on the market, gaining the position of the Uber of the skies. Terrafugia TFX Terrafugia is a US-based company headquartered in Boston that is famous for currently developing the first fully autonomous flying car under the name Terrafugia TFX. When the wings are folded, you're looking at a weird four-wheeler that still drives like a car and can carry up to four passengers. Flying capabilities are ensured by retractable wings, two propellers, and a fan at the rear. Power to propellers will be provided by a plug-in hybrid powertrain with two electric motors with 600 horsepower output and an additional gasoline engine with 300 horsepower. The TFX's efficient fuel consumption will allow up to 500 miles of flying range with cruising speed of 200 miles per hour. But most importantly, Terrafugia made sure that this car will take off and land vertically and fly fully autonomously. However, in case of an emergency, safety parachute will be activated and you will be able to have a relatively soft landing. Ehang 184 The news about the autonomous aerial vehicle from China Ehang 184 had surfaced for the first time in 2016 at the CES in Las Vegas, but at the moment the world met the newcomer with skepticism. However, the recently revealed footage of the first test flights proves that Ehang is not a joke. The original design is an electric one-seater that has 23 minutes or roughly 10 miles flight endurance. The company claims its aircraft is able to take off autonomously, fly routes, sense obstacles and land. And if anything goes wrong, a human pilot is supposed to step in and take over the controls. Moreover, the company has already tested a two-seater version of the aircraft with 617 pounds payload. Ehang has already conducted 1,000 manned test flights and the project is looking more and more promising. Lilium Jet Founded in 2015, a German startup Lilium is now regarded as a prospective leader on the market of personal air mobility. In 2017, it won a prestigious Early Stage Company of the Year from Global Tech 100 Award for its all-electric Lilium Jet prototype. Last year, 
The company received around $100 million investment for this project from Tencent, Atomica, Obvious Ventures and LGT Bank. Lilium's goal is creating a functional air taxi. It will be used for city and airport transfers on a daily basis. Today, the developed aircraft has two modifications, a five-seater that is going through testing stage and a two-seater that has already completed its first unmanned flight in Munich last year. It uses VTOL technology, generates zero emissions and has a capsule-like body. The final version is expected to reach a cruising speed of 186 miles per hour and to have a 186 or one-hour flight range. Pop-up Simply put, this hybrid vehicle is a taxi cab that can seamlessly switch between the road, the sky and the tracks to take you to the final destination in the fastest and most efficient way. Finally, the unique design of the capsule will also ensure the possibility of accommodating the pop-up to be compatible with other means of future transportation, like hyperloops or magnetic levitation trains. Are you excited about the future of air travel? Which of these aircraft is your favorite? Would you trust your life to a senseless autonomous drone? Tell us everything in the comment section, review the video suggested on the screen and share with your friends. May the lift be with you!